<laughs> we are almost losing. Now my wife is crying. We just asked for a tiramisu. We just asked for a tiramisu. I'm the mood and my wife is crying. Honey, why are you crying? You are crying because it's so good? Yes. To create a Duomo of Milan, Leonardo da Vinci designed this canal. We left El Prat to Lubavat Airport on the 22nd of June, heading for Milan Airport, to spend a beautiful holiday of a few days but they will be intense and a lot of fun. We could already feel the joy in our bodies, and there were only seconds left to board that ruling flight that would mark the beginning of our adventure in Italy. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Once you have located your seat, we ask you that you please step out of the aisle, so the passengers behind you can pass you, just will expedite our boarding process. Your large carry-on items need to go in the overhead compartment, your smaller ones underneath the seat in front of you, keeping all exits and aisles clear. If you need assistance, please contact the flight attendant. Flight crew, please prepare for landing. Do you think you, we can get it? It's a boat di Peduano. Tell you I know for sure. Yeah, what? That we're gonna have to give you an English lesson. An English lesson? Hey guys, write your comments here. Do you think I should improve my English? I show improve my English. <laughs> Look, another Esporte Virtuale Epica. Oh Lord, I just love this language. I will download the link as <laughs> it yeah. We are just trying to find the zebra pass. I made a mistake, I didn't ask. You made a mistake. Yeah, I, I opened it with you, that. You always make a mistake with food. Yesterday was Noelia's birthday and we, very lovely, we just bought a cake for her. What happened without, to you? Without lactose. Without lactose. Because without lactose. Being taller. Exactly. I don't have to do a cake. When I got home, Dad ate all the cake. Yeah, I ate all the cake because it was so good. So I ate my daughter's birthday cake. Okay, look at that pain in the wall. If you see, you can see that on this side, that it's only one. But when you go a little bit closer, you can see that there's like a wall over there. But it was pretty great painted. Well, we just ate a sandwich and of course we have the trash. We have the trash and I'm trying to figure out with my daughter Noelia who's going to trash that papers to the trash can. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. One. One. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. One. <laughs> I won. Number I trash can. No le digan a papi que estaba hablando en en español. Don't tell daddy that I was speaking Spanish. The Sforza Castle is a castle in Milan, Italy, that was built in the 15th century. It was originally constructed as a fortification by Francesco Sforza, Duke of Milan, but was later converted into a castle and became a residence for the Sforza family. The castle has undergone several renovations over the centuries and now serves as a museum, housing a collection of art and artifacts. 
Some of the notable works on display at the Sforza Castle include Michelangelo's sculpture, the Pieta Rondonini, Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper, and works by Titian and Botticelli. Here we find ourselves in the Piccolo Tetro, where today we find the sundial that Leonardo da Vinci built with his years. Maurizio Catalan is an Italian artist known for his provocative and often controversial sculptures. One of his most famous works is a sculpture called L.O.V.E., which consists of a giant white marble hand with the middle finger extended. The sculpture is meant to be a commentary on consumerism and the commercialization of art, and it was initially installed in the Piazza Affari in Milan, Italy in 2010. The Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II is a shopping mall located in Milan, Italy. It is named after King Vittorio Emanuele II and was built in the 19th century. The Galleria is housed in a four-story double arcade that is covered by a glass and iron roof, and it is considered a major example of Italian architecture. Teatro alla Scala is an opera house in Milan, Italy. It is one of the most famous and prestigious opera houses in the world and is considered a symbol of Milan and of Italian culture. The Scala was built in the late 18th century and has been the site of many notable opera productions and concerts over the years. The last German general to surrender at the end of the Second World War, surrounded by the Allies, came out of this building. It is a popular tradition for visitors to the Galleria Vittorio Emanuel to spin around with one foot on the bull's genitals. The tradition is said to bring good luck. The bull is depicted in the mosaic as a symbol of the city of Milan. Spinning around on one foot on the bull's genitals is believed to bring good fortune. The Duomo of Milan, Duomo di Milano, is the Cathedral of Milan, Italy. It is the largest Gothic cathedral in Italy and the third largest cathedral in Europe. The Duomo was built in the 14th and 15th centuries and is known for its elaborate and ornate design, which includes a large facade adorned with statues and other decorative elements, as well as a towering spire and a series of pinnacles. The interior of the Duomo is also impressive, with a large nave, several chapels, and a number of important artworks and artifacts. The Duomo is a major landmark in Milan and is one of the city's most popular tourist attractions, was designed by a number of architects over the course of several centuries. The original plans for the Duomo were drawn up in 1386 by Giovanni di Balduccio, who was a sculptor and architect from Milan. The construction of the Duomo was overseen by a series of chief architects, including Francesco de Gaggino. The design of the Duomo was influenced by a number of architectural styles, including Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque. In addition to the chief architects, many other artists and craftsmen contributed to the design and construction of the Duomo, including sculptors, stonecutters, and other skilled workers. Here in Milan, the name is Posteria de Fortunata. Uh, it's, it's very crowded, what to me, there's a lot of people here, so the food is very good. Uh, I will order. I'm going to have a fettuccine with pesto. I'm going to have a tegumili, pomodoro fresco e basilico. I'm going to take ravioli, burro e salvia. Oh, it's a lot! Yeah! I told you it's a lot! But there's a lot of marine over there, no. I want the real Italian gelato. My wife is crying. We just act for a tiramisu. We just act a tiramisu. I'm the moose and my wife is crying. Honey, why are you crying? <laughs> You're crying because it's so good? Yes. Oh Lord. We now head for the Naviglio Grande. The Naviglio Grande is a canal in Milan, Italy that was built in the 13th century. 
It was originally used for irrigation and transportation, but today it is a popular tourist attraction and is known for its restaurants, bars, and boutiques. The Navilio Grande is also home to the Navigli district, which is known for its lively nightlife and cultural events. The Naviglio Gran was the most important of the Milanese Navigli, probably originating as a ditch dug in 1157 between Abbiatagrasso and Landriano as a defense against Frederick Barbarossa. It was one of the largest medieval engineering projects. To create the Dome of Milan, the church that we saw before, that Dome of Milan was made with the best marble ever. And how they bring marble to Milan with boats. Why? Because Milan doesn't have any port. Yes, they bring it from the port. Leonardo da Vinci designed these canals, these water canals, and they bring the marble from here. And they took it from here to over there that is the Dome of Milan. It's, it's in, that, in that direction. So no doubt that Leonardo da Vinci was a genius. Allowing development of commerce, transport and agriculture. In 1177, construction began near Tornavento but problems stopped work almost immediately. Yes. It's so crazy to drive in Milan. It's real a mess. Nobody care about nobody. Everybody's honking the, the honk. We just got to the train station and now we realize that there's no often to Novara and we are afraid that maybe the last one has passed. Meanwhile, they are happy. We're here. We're already seated in the train. Noelia. How do you feel? What about you, Valeria? You run for your life? Yeah. 